Hello people. Yes, yeah, some of you asked me to make a video in English about optimizing an 5800X 3D. And here it is. I hope you, you understand me because my English is not so good, but I, I try my best. I will give my best. Okay, what's the goal to optimize the CPU? You got higher boost clock, you got less heat, and you got less power consumptions. What do you need? You need the core cycler, <clears throat> you need sign bench, you need CPU Z and Ryzen Master. Okay, here we start. When you are in the fallout from uh, core cycler, there is tools, PBO tuner, and you can start the PBO tuner. And here it is. And these are the default values for the uh, CPU, but they are too high. All depends on PPT and your cooler. Okay, we start with sign bench, set it to 30 minutes and start multicore. We start Ryzen Master and now we can see The temperature, now my uh, machine is cool. We have to wait a minute so that the temperature, temperature goes up. And as you can see, here's the core clock. And it's still going a little bit down because we're above 80 degrees. When the CPU is uh, above 80 degrees, it will throttle down. So goal is not to throttle down the CPU. So the temperature is going higher. It's depending on your fan and uh, I've got a Dark Rock Slim. I tested the Noctua 12A. I don't know the exact name, NRD12A, and it was not better than my uh, Dark Rock Slim, so I put back my Dark Rock Slim because it's smaller and it's quieter. Okay, as you can see, we're running hot, so we have to low down the PPT. I found out for me 105 is okay. So you can see we're here hitting 105 watts. That's the limit. And now the temperature is going down a little bit. So we round about 80 degrees and a little bit under. So our clock is a little bit lower, but that makes no uh, difference when you when you're doing all core all core uh, things like video rendering or something else. It's one person or difference in time. Okay, as you can see, we are here in limit and TDC and EDC is there's a lot of space to 100%. So we can raise down it, raise down, lower down it to 27, 72. And now we are here at 98. Important is you don't reach 100%. And the EDC, we're going to 130, and now we're at 90%. These are the values uh, that for me, which for me are working very good. Okay. So we can stop. And now we're making the bench from CPU set. And now you can see the EDC is a little bit higher than in sign bench because of this I have set it to 113 in sign bench 
130. So these values you have to uh, do by yourself. It all depends on your fan. And when this is done, we can do the next step. We go to the curve, the curve optimizer. My CPU is working with all cores minus 30. That's round about uh, 30, 30. Come on, thirty minus thirty. It's round about Okay, Schnitt. Okay, my, <clears throat> my CPU is working with all core minus 30. And you have to uh, find the values which are working for you. And for this, you can use core cycler. So we stop the bench. And we go to the config ini, and there you can set which core you want to test, how long. And for the beginning, you can set it to two minutes. And start the core cycle. Now it's, ru uh, it's running two minutes per core. And we'll test if... Uh, the value, the curve optimizer values are working for you. For me, all are working. When you uh, run through and you've got an error, maybe core four is not working for you, and all other cores are working, then set this to minus 25 when it's working. It's okay when it's not working, you will test minus 20. And when the two minutes test is running through all cores and there's no problem, then you go back to the config ini and set it to six minutes <clears throat> and let it run for all cores again until this, there's no error and then you've got the values you need. Okay, you can now set these values, these three, three and these eight values in your BIOS. When you don't have got a BIOS, you can use PBO Tuner to set it in Windows. And for this, you can automize it with an uh, task scheduler, name it PBO Tuner. We go in. And I've set the trigger when Windows is start is starting. Then it should run PBO tuner with these values and at the end you set 10572 and 130, that's my values. And every time Windows boots is booting up, it will set PBO tuner to your settings. Okay, but what uh, about when your PC is in standby or hibernate and is waking up again, all your values are lost in PBO tuner. So you have to start the program again. Or you set a new trigger, set it to event user settings 
New Event Filter. Set Information for Protocol Use Windows System as Source Use Power 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 Troubleshooter ID One or User or Computer you can let it be and this also is okay and okay and now you've got a new event when your pc is waking up it will reload the pbo tuner values okay this is for people when the bios don't have support for pbo tuner settings or curve optimizer so what you do next next you can Go to the BIOS and set your load line calibration to low because the CPU don't need so much power. And when you set your load line calibration low, it uh, doesn't peak so hard the volt to the CPU. Oh my god my english is so bad but i i i i think you you understand what i mean so in asus gigabyte there are settings in the bios msi has got msi combustor and what msi combustor is doing when you set it to one you have minus 10 to all cores combustor twice two is uh, minus 20 and combustor three is minus minus 30 for all core so you can try first three then two when it's not working or maybe one okay that's it so my cpu is now reaching higher boost clocks i will show you the difference we're setting One moment. So here I am. Are my values where it is? We set them to zero. Okay, now we're starting again the program. Still minus 30, reset, okay, it's faster. Limits, we set it to default value. Okay, now we are running sign bench again. Okay, my load line calibration is still at low, so the difference is not so much big. I don't have to, I don't want to go in the BIOS now because then the video will stop. Okay, where is Simonch? Here it is. Okay, we're starting again. Take a look at the Ryzen Master. As you can see, we go very fast to 84 five degrees and we just got 4.2 uh, gigahertz so now we're setting the curve to minus 30 13 sorry so now take a look when I set apply, take a look at the core clock and the temperature. Boom. Round about 200 megahertz and three degrees lower. Then I set my 
optimal values. And we're again at 80 degrees. And we still got 4,000. You can see it. Okay, I think that's it. I hope it helps you. Have fun and see you again. Bye.